Good evening. Self confidence is contagious. One said by Stephen Richards. Welcome to BMC News Live, presented by Al Hilal Hospitals and Medical Centers English News. Myself, Shana Sultana, joining you with the daily news updates. Today's news in details. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised young riders' endurance race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, Team Victorious Captain, and his children yesterday participated in the Young Riders Race of the His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Endurance Championship, held under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, First Deputy Chairman, General Sports Authority Chairman, and Bahrain Olympic Committee President. The championship is hosted by the Bahrain International Endurance Village. World Aquatics first regional center to be opened in Bahrain. The World Aquatics and the Bahrain Olympic Committee BOC yesterday laid the foundation stone for the establishment of the Bahrain World Aquatic Center at the University of Technology Bahrain in partnership with GFH Financial Group and the Bahrain Swimming Association. Held under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Supreme Council for Youth and Sports First Deputy Chairman, General Sports Authority Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President, the foundation stone laying ceremony was attended by senior state officials, guests and Bahrain national swimming team players. Industry Minister honored shops of December promotional campaigns. Abdullah bin Adil Fakru, Minister of Industry and Commerce, honored a group of shops and commercial establishments that benefited from the national initiative launched by the Con Consumer Protection Directorate at the Ministry. The initiative is concerned with exempting businesses from promotional campaign fees during December, coinciding with the National Day celebration. Throughout November to December 2023, first 1,122 establishments participated in the initiative which witnessed a great turn turnout from businesses across all governorates. BDF Commander-in-Chief Inspected Unit Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa, Commander in Chief of the Bahrain Defence Force, yesterday made an inspection visit to a BDF unit. The Commander in Chief affirmed that the national force is moving forward in developing its defence systems and strengthening its military capabilities and has also reached an advanced level of efficiency under the leadership of His Majesty the King, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, supported by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Now we shall go for short commercial break. The branch of Mega Mart and Macro Mart supermarkets in Bahrain has opened in Sahala. The best offers are available to the customers at affordable rates. Everyone is welcome. During and around the opening day, a variety of fish including salmon, meat and dairy products, roastery, frozen items, food and non-food items, groceries, fruits and vegetables, electronics, 
Godmans ain't ready to eat food items are available to the customers at affordable rates. Hearty welcome to all. Mega Mart and Macro Mart, your favorite shopping destination. Welcome back. Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs President congratulated Sunni and Jafari Endowments Council's chairman. Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, received Nawaf bin Mohammed Al Mawda, Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed Al Hajiri, Chairman of the Sunni Endowments Council, and Yusuf bin Saleh Al Saleh, Chairman of the Jafari Endowments Council. He wished them success in preserving and developing places of worship, following Sharia values and principles. Festival City attracted over 100,000 visitors. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority announced that the festival city attracted over 100,000 visitors, showcasing the success of Celebrate Bahrain. The Celebrate Bahrain included family, musical, cultural and sporting events held across various governorates of the kingdom for a month in collaboration with various partners coinciding with Bahrain National Days. The Celebrate Bahrain concluded with a successful celebration with nearly 7,000 people at Water Garden City and 21,800 at Amarasi Al Bahrain. The event also saw a large presence in Bahrain Bay, Bahrain Harbour, Financial Centre, Bahrain Fort, Bahrain National Museum and Al Najma Club. Some 780 people still cut off in quick hit Ishikawa as rescuers efforts continue. Three full days have passed since a major earthquake struck the Noto Peninsula of the Sea of Japan coast and rescue operations continue. The survival rate is said to be dropped significantly after 72 hours. The Ishikawa Prefectural Governorate says that it has confirmed at least 93 deaths, 240 plus people were still unaccounted for as for of Thursday night. Hundreds of motorists stuck in snow overnight in southern Sweden, Denmark. Rescue services on Thursday evacuated motorists from hundreds of cars stuck overnight on Swedish and Danish roads as heavy snowfall, strong winds and icy conditions led to big traffic jams. In Sweden, the military mobilized tracked vehicles to aid the evacuation and bring food and water to those who were stranded on a motorway in southern Sweden. With this, we come to the end of today's news. Stay for daily news update on BBC News Live at English, English at 7.30 p.m. Thank you so much for watching. Signing off, Pashina Sultana. Good night.